stored in the Inner Harbor after a water main break caused the steam pipe to blow up. But the street where the explosion happened is still closed off. WMER 2 News Ashley McDowell there live for us tonight where the crews are working on the site. Ashley, what does the area look out there tonight? Well, Kelly and Jamie, it looks like the workers have stopped for the day. This road here behind me, that is Utah Street. That is where a large hole was from the explosion. But as you can see, it looks like the contractors have covered that hole with plates. DPW says this street will remain closed indefinitely, but two lanes are reopened on Pratt Street, where motorists are moving at a snail pace. <laughs> It was a surprise to many after a loud noise followed the steam pipe rupture. Lachelle Downs was in her room at the Hilton Baltimore when the explosion happened. We looked out the window, it was water everywhere and smoke and a, a, a fire station came. She says when she woke up this morning, she could still see the effects. I got up and it was like mm, 7 in the morning, it was back on, but it was brown. So we had to let it, the water run for a little while. BGE crews were installing a gas line early Sunday morning when they struck an unmarked pipe near Pratt and Utah streets. This caused a water main break that led to the steam pipe explosion. Smoke was all in the sky, covering the sun and everything. It was like it was like it was a bad cloud or something. Like ground was it felt like the ground was shaking like an earthquake. Water was shut off at both the Hilton Baltimore and the Marriott Inner Harbor as their locations are next to where the explosion happened. Marriott General Manager Brian Williams said they were at about 50% occupancy when this happened, but five gallon water containers were provided to guests until the water was back on. Fortunately for us, we had a lot of guests going over to the game around that time, so the impact was minimal when it immediately happened. The problem came in after the game when they came back from the game and they came back and wanting to take showers. Assistant Director Bernadette Davison from the Hilton Hotel said they went without water longer than they anticipated. And we had to relocate a lot of guests to different hotels just so that they had access to water. And then on top of that, compensate the guests that we did have in house that had to go without water. So they said originally it was only supposed to be two or three hours, but it ended up being all night. Um, they didn't. The fire department says the explosion caused the road to rupture, injuring four construction workers. Three of them went to the hospital. One of them requested not to go to the hospital. No one was critically injured. In downtown Baltimore, Ashley McDowell, WMAR 2 News. All right, Ash